Well, look for Alexis Oliveira, our Moto3 amateur rider. She's too young to have a driver's license. Hey guys, Super Alex here today. But the goal was to win a motorcycle racing championship before she turned 17. Pretty cool to see a, see a lady out there this weekend. And For 15-year-old Alexis Oliveira. Yeah, Alexis Oliveira. Quite a few people talking about her and tell me just how fast she was. Known as Super Lex, number 26 and outfitted in purple, the dream has come to a crashing halt. There was a bit of a crash this morning in practice between Gus Rodeo and Alexis Oliveira. I was just there on the ground screaming. <laughs> I was like telling the workers, take my boots off because it, it hurt, you know? Did you realize you broke both ankles at that moment? Now, Alexis has had a couple this weekend and it's it, it, it always bums you out. Once I flew up in the air, I knew something was going to break. It's what just happens, gravity. I was kind of just trying to make jokes to make myself feel better. I'm still kind of upset that I can't race for a minute, but it's, it's fine. I'll just get over it. Motorcycles have been a part of Alexis's life for more than a decade. At four, she got on one for the first time. At nine years old, she discovered her passion for riding. Her grandpa gave her this pocket bike as a gift. My dad asked me if I wanted to ride it, and I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know why I love it so much. It's just the adrenaline and the speed. It's just, I can't, I can't live without it. That same year, she won first place in a competition. Olivera squeezes it up and takes the lead. 125 miles an hour is the fastest she's ever gone. What does that feel like? I don't know, because when you're like under the shield, you can't really feel much until you get up like over it. <laughs> it's like just air coming at you. Alexis practices on the weekends. It's a difficult sport, but it's definitely one where you really have to get on the gas right away. And the braking, you have to figure that out. It's not as easy as it looks. And she's had her share of crashes. Oh, oh man! Happens oh, way all that. That's super Lex. That's uh yeah, Lexus Oliveira. Leaving her once with a second degree separation and broken collarbone. It's part of racing. You kind of get used to it after a while. She's frustrated right now, and that feel frustrated for her too. This summer, she was one of the youngest riders in Moto America's Junior Cup Series, and the only female on the track of racers aged 14 to 25. Is it empowering to be the only female? A little bit. Cool see a, see a it's weird. It would be nice if there was like some other girls racing out there. We could talk about the same things, but it's, it's not so different, especially when you're out on the track, everybody's the same. Alexis hit the road with her dad in a van as she traveled the country for the competition. They were going to live out of it for a month. From their home in Northport, Florida, they drove to Washington State and even got to do some sightseeing. But then, as Alexis was warming up for her race... We were coming down a hill, and so I just couldn't time it right. She crashed, turning her bike into a mangled mess. And Alexis Oliveira definitely has one broken ankle that she's in surgery for now, and they're taking a look because they believe there may be a small fracture in her other ankle as well. All I know is I went to the grass, I flew up pretty high, and then I just hit the ground and went tumbling for a minute and then I was just there on the ground screaming. <laughs> she spent a week in the hospital following surgery on both ankles. Doctors told her to stay off the right leg for six weeks, her left leg, three months. Maybe after five months or six months, I'll probably start training again. I don't know if I'll do Moto America right away because that, that won't be a good decision. Now Alexis is navigating a wheelchair, all while being homeschooled for the first time. I've been doing pretty good. It's been a bit challenging, especially with the wheelchair and all that. I can't really do as much as I want to, especially when I want I want to wash my face. I have to put like a towel on my legs and just let water fall. <laughs> it's awful, but overall, it's not too bad. But despite it all, this teen remains calm after veering off course. I was fine with the situation but it's, it happened and I'll see for with how much training I do and what I can get up to once I get back on my legs. When Alexis is ready, 
the track will be waiting for her big return. I'm Lee Sheps for Inside Edition Digital.